What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers. This is episode number 28 and today we're hopefully going to get to Europa. I say hopefully because it's been a long time since I've done a little bit of space travel, but we built a ship last episode, it's filled up with materials, and hopefully we can get to Europa today and uh, and, and start building a base. So, uh, if you remember last episode we set up the whole plan to make this awesome ship right here that's going to ferry us and a bunch of materials, um, specifically ones to make an automated base that is like remote controlled. And then we're going to take that ship and fly it to Europa so we can make a, a really cool uh, remote base, which is going to be pretty awesome. We even set up a, uh, what's this called, a laser antenna over on this side of things so that we can um, later connect to it once it's all uh, set up and stuff. So I'm pretty sure we didn't forget anything uh, last episode when we were actually setting everything up. And I think we're perfectly set up so that we can start flying immediately. So uh, let's let's do that. I don't know where we want to land on Europa, but I think we're going to land... Let me go up and, and see it. I think we're going to land on that side right there, just so that we can have a, a nice line of sight to this uh, laser antenna. Don't want to land on the far side. So we got to keep that in mind as we're going toward it. Uh, the other thing is that we only have small batteries on this, and I don't know how long that's going to last us. Let's hope a long time, otherwise we're going to have to stop and like, I don't know, maybe use some of our materials to make a hydrogen engine uh, temporarily if, if we really need something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Actually, you know what? It shouldn't be that bad because worst comes to worst, we can probably find an asteroid that has uh, materials and, um, and stuff in it. But that'll be like an emergency situation. Hopefully we won't encounter that. But all right, yeah, I think we're ready to go. Let's launch in or let's hop in this thing. And I think we're ready. Actually, which way do we have to launch? It's going to be, no, that's Earth. It's going to be over there. Okay, so we have to kind of launch backward and to the right a little bit. I think we're set up. I, I really hope we haven't forgotten anything. Um, let's give this thing a go. Okay, so turn our, our batteries back on so they're on auto. Let's unlock this. We're ready to go. Let's unlock this and go up. Oh, man. It's hitting against something. Okay, now we're going to have to watch our... Oh, man. <laughs> it's barely getting off the ground. Uh, we're going to have to watch our power and our... So we have nine hours of power, so we should be fine. And we're going to also have to watch our um, hydrogen. Because while we do have a bunch of excess uh, fuel and stuff, excess uh, ice inside our cargo, we are going to... Uh, if we run out, we're going to have a, a couple of problems. So I probably don't want to use... Well, it, it actually... Our, our usage looks pretty fine. It's going to go down as well as we get closer to space. And we've also got quite a bit of speed. What we could do... How high... Let's watch our gravity. When P gravity starts going down, we're going to start uh, slowing down on this throttle here. In fact, we're going almost 200, so we can almost already start to, to, to slow down, but I just don't want to fall back to Mars. Can we see our base from here? Uh, let's turn this off. No, we cannot see our base at all. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. i got to hold Alt when I'm messing around with with, uh, with that stuff. Okay, we're, we're off. We're on our way. This is going to be interesting because uh, landing is going to be probably pretty tough because we only have two smaller thrusters on the front, so we're definitely going to have to going to want to uh, like back up to land instead of landing straight on like we're going right now. Okay, we're going 300. I'm gonna I'm gonna slow down on the throttle, turn off our dampeners, and let our momentum carry us a little bit. Um, and once we start getting a little bit slower, I'll, I'll bump up the throttle again. But I don't want to use too much fuel if I don't have to. Because we, we've already got a lot of speed. We might be able to get there. In fact, we're actually going to start going into a, a bit of an orbit here. So I don't really want to uh, do that that much. I just want to I just want to get a little bit farther without expending the fuel to do so. And I don't want to make myself too fast. Because if I go too fast, uh, we're going to crash. <laughs> I don't want to crash. That would not be good. All right. Let's, let's start bumping up a little bit more. Turn on those dampeners. Dampeners are going to stop us from going in that direction while we continue trying to go in this direction. All right, we're at 72. We have 72 hydrogen left, 71 now. So uh, we, we're, we're looking real good on hydrogen. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of how our hydrogen is doing. P gravity is going down pretty, uh, pretty rapidly. So let's get ourselves back up to 300 and then I'll stop our throttle again. And I'm, I'm trying to position ourselves uh, over there. And once we get out into space, we can kind of uh, more uh, precisely position where we want to land. Okay, so let's actually it's 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 getting much larger. So it's actually not that far from Mars. Not not as far as I thought it would be. Um because we're already getting kind of a little bit close to it. Well, I say that, but we're not well, I don't know. We'll see. Oh man, we're going real fast. I wasn't even paying attention. Let's turn off the dampeners and let ourselves kind of uh kind of drift a little bit. Lose some of that speed as our P gravity goes down and we'll get a little bit closer to uh to the moon. 
the um, the moon of Mars, Europa. The game moon of Mars. In real life, Mars is not or, uh, Europa is not a moon of Mars. Oh, we're starting to see some asteroids, which means we're really close to the edge of Mars' uh, gravity pull, I guess. Oh, a little bit, little bit of lag there. Uh, as we are very close to it, we, we have almost no gravity now from Mars, so we should be um, keeping our speed pretty easily. Uh, so lots of rocks, which has with it the uh, risk... Oh, I didn't... Oh, man, did you see that? There was a, a red thing on the map. We might run into space pirates, and if we do, that's going to be really bad because I don't have any weapons on this thing. I'm going to start slowing us down a little bit because the moon is getting larger and larger, and I'm getting very afraid that we're going to end up crashing into it. So I'm going to slow us down to probably 300 will be a nice uh, a nice speed to go at. What would happen if we crash this thing? Imagine if we crash this ship and everything in it everything in it gets disintegrated and it's just and, and like I survive. So it's just like me in the ship. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop slowing down now. Uh, it's, it's just me in the ship with no materials and just a bunch of steel plates. That would be a hardcore survival situation. All right, let's slow us uh, down a little bit more because the moon's getting pretty large. Well, no, we're not really that close to it. It's a pretty large moon, I think. There she is. Oh, we're actually... Well, I think we're fine. Let's aim this way a little bit. How big is it? It's getting big pretty quick. Let's go down to 250 so we don't have any issues. Got a little bit of clipping through Mars over there. I don't know what that's about. Maybe someone dug a, a giant hole through the... Uh... Oh, man, have you guys seen Lost in Space? They made a, a, a series on Netflix for Lost in Space. There's something similar to that in one of the episodes, which is, is pretty cool. So maybe Space Engineers has gone full Lost in Space mode. <laughs> All right, let's aim for about here. Let's slow ourselves down to 220, 230 maybe. What, I, what I'm just trying to avoid is that once we get start, uh, pulled into the gravity of Europa, we don't um, we don't ha not have enough to stop, pretty much. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to avoid. And hopefully that doesn't happen. How is our fuel looking? We're just above half fuel left. We have nine hours of power. So I think we're pretty solid, actually. We don't have a landing gear on this thing, so that'll be interesting. But... Okay, it's getting larger and larger. The planet grows larger. And it looks like we're still in sort of range for the radio antenna. We can see the uh, radio antennas work... Or uh, laser antennas work with line of sight. So as long as we have line of sight back to our original hangar, which is right over there, we will be good. This is a pretty solid landing area over here. That actually looks pretty cool. We could try and land over there, maybe. Should we slow ourselves down a little bit more, probably? It's getting quite large at this point. All right, let's slow ourselves down to 100, maybe? P gravity, oh, here comes P gravity. It's starting up a little bit. Uh, we have a pretty nice landing zone right here. As long as we continue to decelerate, we should be able to land like this. I don't really know what the gravity of Europa is in this. We see some some dirt stuff right here. It looks very dirty. Now, Europa does have ores, so that could be ores that we're seeing under there. Possibly. If I can land like this, that'd be amazing. But if we start getting a little bit too fast or we start not being able to, to pick up speed, I will uh, turn ourselves over so we can land normally. All right, we're getting real close. We have a... Oh, wow, we're closer than I thought. We have an altitude of 500 meters. So let's, let's try and keep it below 30 at this point. So if we crash, it's not that bad. Okay, let's slow ourselves down even even more. So what I'm doing here is I'm just I'm just using the uh, dampeners to slow ourselves down and speed ourselves up, over and over. We might be able to land like this. Let's take a let's take a bigger look here. This would be much harder if we were in first person. <laughs> Let me try it. Is there a flatter area maybe? I don't know. This isn't terrible. How's our fuel doing? Our fuel's fine. Okay, so it looks like the gravity on Europa is like nothing, so we should be uh, perfectly okay. Let's let's fly around a little bit. Look for a nicer landing area, since we do have the fuel to uh, to do so. I mean, we could go in this valley. That wouldn't be that bad. Or maybe on top of this mountain. A mountain would be good because we have a better line of sight. But I don't think line of sight's going to be an issue uh, anyway. So, well, let's see what we see over this mountain. Maybe there's something better that we can go for. That looks like a flatter little hill over there, so maybe we'll go for the flat hill. And this is looking pretty good. Yeah, this is actually much flatter than 
uh, the other stuff. I'm going a bit fast, but there's a rock right here, which is going to be nice for us to uh, to have as well. So let's 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 build our little base over here in this general area. We'll we'll land right next to the rock, and that'll be yeah, that'll be really nice for materials and stuff. We'll land right here. This is pretty flat. Now I don't have a landing gear again, but so I'm gonna have to kind of land this thing just on the on the uh, on the ice, but that should be fine. Okay, I think we're landing. Let's turn these things off. Uh, let's actually turn our batteries off as well. All right, there we are, landed on Europa or Hoth, as they say. Wow, Mars looks so cool from here. Oh man, there's a lot of ice over there. But we should have line of sight with our base. If we don't, we'll have to move. Um, but I think we do. I remember there was a there was a mountain there. In fact, you know what? If we don't, we'll just mine the mountain, and it should be fine. Um, can we see Earth? Oh my god, we can see Earth. We can see this. Can we see the alien planet? No, that's Earth again. Oh man, look at all this ice that comes up as we as we rock on or walk on this thing. Wow. All right, so we've landed. That was step one. <laughs> step one has gone according to plan, and we've landed in a pretty good place. Now we can start setting up our base. So what I'm going to immediately do is I'm going to grab a couple of our materials here. Uh, oh, I actually have a bunch of materials with me as well, so you know what? I can use those instead. Uh, and I'm going to use some light armor blocks to kind of make ourselves a nice little foundation. Let's go gravity align, and we'll do it up here. How about that? Since this is kind of kind of flat, this will be our main base of operations. Oh man, this is going to be so cool. Alright, so remember the goal is to build an autonomous base that's going to be remote controlled completely uh, from our, our Mars base. So we shouldn't have to set foot on this. However, if we do, I have a, I have a contingency and that is the med bay. So we can, we can med bay teleport if we really need to. Uh, or can, actually I don't know if we can. We'd have to change the setting probably. But it would definitely be easier than flying all the way back here. Although the flight wasn't actually that hard. To be fair, so maybe we, you know, maybe we don't have to resort to that. Maybe we can just say that we'll uh, that we'll fly and it'll be fine. Okay, so uh, I think I brought enough to have 50 of these, uh, but fully welded in. So that's 50 of those fully welded in, or um, 25 times 50, which would be 100, 1,250 of these not welded at all. So uh, yeah, we'll probably weld at least some of them in for more structural integrity in case anything happens i.e. me crashing one of our remote ships into the base, but uh, but yeah, should be fine. All right, let's immediately set up a battery. That's probably gonna be a good idea. I think, actually, you know what? Here's what we can do. We can just we can just place the battery right here. Yeah, we'll set it up right there. We'll place two batteries and we can go and use our magical um, build tools here. Uh, and I think it might be in this. All components were successfully withdrawn. Wait, that didn't feel like you withdrew everything. There we go. We'll get one more. Oh, that was a small ship one that was trying to build. Man. Okay, I'll have to convert it to a large ship, probably. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, convert this to large ship, please. Thank you. And then, okay, yeah, so it couldn't withdraw some of the stuff. That's fine. But it withdrew most of it, so we're good. And then get the other one, yeah. All right, so that's one battery. That means we now have a powered grid here, which is good. Uh, we just need some power cells and computers, and it's probably going to try and give us everything. So I'm just going to grab it manually here. A uh, couple power cells and computers. Give back a couple of those power cells. I think I grabbed too many. Now I may have grabbed too little. Ooh, wow! Look at that! Look at that! Uh, look at that jump you have! Woo! That might even be less than the moon. I, I don't remember. All right, we have two things now powering this. Uh, what should we immediately set up? Probably the med bay, just in case anything really bad happens. So let's go ahead and... Oh yeah, I, I keep forgetting that we can just set it up using the build tools. Alright, so med bay we're going to go ahead and place probably right here. Will be a good place for it. Stick it right there and we'll, we'll build as much as we can, but we're probably going to go need to use our build, build planner tools to uh, grab it. Okay, I couldn't withdraw 15 medical components. That's worrying. I thought I added... Oh, no, the power's off. That's why. The medical components are probably in the second thing. Wait. Where? Well, they should be in here. Medical components? Are you guys... Did I not bring medical components? I could have sworn I did. Maybe they're in here. They're not in there. Well, that's worrying. Medical, medical, medical. Radio, detector, 
We might have forgotten medical components. Well, well that's not good. <laughs> did we bring 80 detector components? <gasps> we did. Okay. And also power cells. All right, guys. Small hiccup. We actually forgot medical components. We don't have them. Uh, that's unfortunate, but... What we could do, that means if we die, we're uh, SOL. We're just going to spawn back over there. So let's not do that. Let's not die. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to... What is this, actually? What are you? Gold. Okay. Uh, gold. Wait, gold and ice? Okay. Well, obviously ice. Okay. Um, gold's pretty good to, to actually have access to. Uh, we could set up our production and then try and make medical components. I think they require silver. Um, or we can make one of the, the cheap medical bases. What, what are they called? The the survival kit? Does The survival kit allows respawn. What does it not allow? There, I thought there were some key things that it did not allow. Let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's build this one instead. I think it's going to not require, no, it does also require medical components. Okay, so we're gonna have to build, we're gonna have to build our refinery stuff and then see if we can uh, set up our medical stuff. Now, I do have access to power. I can sit in this thing and it'll power up my suit, so it's not really a huge issue. As long as our ship doesn't explode or anything, then we'll be we'll be good. All right, let's set up our tanks. So we brought enough for a hydrogen tank and some uh, some some oxygen tanks. So I'm gonna put what what do I wanna put? I wanna put the oxygen generator. Well, I don't have, okay. I don't have this stuff. Hang on. That is really nice being able to hop anywhere we want. Okay, so this right here. Oxygen generator. We're gonna stick it right there. In fact, how much did I, I have a picture of this? Okay, so as far as oxygen generators, I have enough for two O2 generators. So I'm gonna stick those on top of each other right here. Let's stick one of those right there. So O2 generators is this one. We're gonna stick them so that they're connecting like this one, and then a second one right here. And so these are gonna produce our stuff, our, our oxygen and uh, other stuff. So oxygen generators, please. I would like to make two of these. So grab one, two. Wow, you don't really need very much to make these, do you? Yeah, they're actually very easy to make. Okay. All right, there's our two oxygen generators. And then we're going to have two oxygen tanks as well, which I will put, and I think we have enough for a hydrogen tank as well. Oh, shoot, they're, they're making an update, aren't they? They're adding an update. I know the, the public test has come out. I haven't played the public test yet, but it had like smaller, I don't know if they're large grid or small. They might be small grid actually, but I know they made like smaller uh, H2 tanks, which would be really nice. Ones that are about the size of oxygen tanks would be really cool. We could put our hydrogen tank like this. It's gigantic. It'll kind of go into the ground, which will uh, allow us a little bit of security. So this would come and like hook into that. And then we could stick our oxygen tanks maybe under. Or under like this. Oh yeah, that wouldn't be that bad. Let me place a block here. I don't actually know if these connect to the med bay. I don't want to make them drop off the grid. So let me do that. And then I'll place one oxygen tank right here. So I'm trying to kind of conserve space a little bit for this, this base right here. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. Remove those right there. And then we'll place the oxygen tank right under there as well. Uh, turn it around like that. I don't know how we want to place it. I don't think it matters really. Okay, and let's go and grab our materials for two oxygen tanks and then we'll grab the hydrogen stuff as well. So oxygen, uh, big oxygen tank, one, two. I couldn't grab all of it, but I can grab most of it. So that's, that's good. We'll do one of these right here and one of these right here. And let's go and grab the rest of the oxygen uh, stuff. This is actually kind of cool. It's, it's reminding me of, of how it's like to start a base again. I mean, I've done it already three times, I think, in this in this season. I've did it the first season, the second season, and the third season. But uh, it's it's always pretty fun to start a base to kind of plan it out and see how it's going to line up and stuff. All right, let's do the hydrogen tank now, which requires a lot more materials. So, uh, so yeah, this might require a couple trips here. There's one. We're missing. Oh, it should only be like one other trip, maybe. We need a couple large steel tubes. Yeah, yeah, it should be one more trip. We, we have most of the stuff already. All right, number seven. Oh, I've jumped. That's another risk. You can always jump too far here. There we go. That's all the rest of the stuff. Very light things 
uh, these. All right, there we go. We now have a night. Well, actually, okay. We need to set up the um, the conveyors in a, in an appropriate way. So the conveyors are going to just kind of come this way. It'll be like boop boop. And then what we'll have as well is since we want a big conveyor that's going to like we want a conveyor and a connector that's going to connect to the ships. We're going to have these um, probably go up and then over would be where the connectors would be. Kind of a little bit high up, I imagine. How's our power doing? I don't think we're using that much power. Uh, current output, one kilowatt, so we have 37 days of power left. But we're going to have to pay attention to that when we start making refineries and stuff. We're going to have to add the uh, power stuff we brought along for that specific reason. I think curved and straight are the same amount of materials. So we don't need to uh, grab one curved and one straight. We can just grab two curved and it'll be the same amount of materials. And yeah, that does seem to be correct. Okay, so you guys are now connected. Sweet. So now if we add some ice into here, it should power up our, our ice reserves over here. And there we go. We now have this thing producing. Yep, it's producing stuff. Sweet. So now we should see our power starting to drain a little bit more. Well, actually, no. Are, are you actually producing stuff? You should be producing stuff to send into the uh, tanks, but it doesn't seem like you are. Yeah, you're not. Why not? You're connected, you're connected. Huh, that's weird. Um, let's go ahead and build our power generation system. So for power generation, it looks like we brought eight wind turbines. Did we bring any solar panels? No, we decided we'd build them here if we, if we needed to. Okay. So for the wind turbines, the higher up they are, the better. Um, so, and we want to kind of keep them away from the uh, from the base a little bit because with, with wind turbines you can, um, if if we're running remote things, we could auto we could like accidentally crash into them or something. So we're gonna do something like this. We're gonna make ourselves a nice little area over here. All right, is that high enough? That's that's pretty high. I feel like that's gonna get a little bit of that's gonna get a pretty good amount of wind. Uh, with wind turbines, you also you also have to be wary of uh, how much how much blockage there is. So you don't want any other wind turbines in within like four blocks or something. Some number of blocks that I don't know the exact number to. Uh, so we're gonna have, we're gonna put one right here and we'll put one maybe kind of doing the same thing on the other side. Um, so let's yeah let's I guess let's just stick that in here. Uh, wind turbine. We'll stick that right here. Or not, because we don't have the stuff for it. A little, little bit of hops. Wind turbines are pretty easy to make, which are, which is nice as well. You don't have to take too many trips to bring them home. And let's see how, how much, I guess, how much you're doing. Uh, wind turbine, you're getting good wind clearance. You're generating 306 kilowatts. I don't know how that really compares to uh, other stuff, but that sounds pretty good. We could try making one much higher and see if that if that actually changes much. Here, let's try it. All right, there's that wind turbine. Let's see how much that one's generating compared to the other one. So wind turbine one is generating 305. Wind turbine two is generating 395. So almost 100 more uh, more stuff because it's got optimal wind clearance. Huh, well in that case, maybe we bring this one a little bit higher than uh, than it is currently. Doing, doing some science experiments over here. <laughs> All right, that one's powered up as well. Let's see how it's how it's going. Um, two. All right, number two is doing 395. Number one's doing 376. So maybe those are a little bit close. I wonder. Do we? I mean, we could go out like two more and see what that does to it. All right, I think those guys are fine. Let's let's not change them that much. But let's uh, let's add two more since we brought enough for eight of these things actually. So. We have plenty of space here. Um, I don't know what I, how I want to do this. Maybe I'll do something like this. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do something like this, maybe. And that'll, that'll be one right there. I'll do the same thing on this side. All right, two more wind turbines going up right here. So there's one, and here is two. Let's power these up, and we'll we'll go and check their uh, their power as well. See how they're doing compared to those other ones. Okay, so wind turbine one, two. Let's make this one three. 
Uh, three is doing 340, and four is doing 317. So we have one really good one, one decent one. One. It seems like it seems like they're not really liking their spacing. So maybe we need to space them out just one more. Let's uh, yeah. Let's okay. Let's space these out one more. All right, here we go. We've changed the positions. So we have one at 394, one at 394, one at 355, and one at 337. So wind turbine three and four are, I think those ones over there. Maybe they're not liking their height that much, but I think it's probably fine. I think we've done enough um, enough to make them happy. So let's let's say they're fine. Uh, that's with a space of, about, I think, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, space of eight between them. I think on both sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so a space of seven and a space of eight, I guess. Um, we have two more of these things to place. I guess we can place them kind of out this way and that way, maybe. I don't know, they require a lot of space. Okay, let, let, let's place them, and I'll come back once they're placed uh, to show you guys. All right, we now have eight wind turbines. It might be a bit of an eyesore, but uh, but there they are. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? Well, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, well, if I did seven on all of them, it's fine. I think I counted eight, and then this was the eighth one. Whereas when I counted eight on this one, it was eight, and then it went. Uh, so that's that's why they're different. Let's check out the powers, see if they're all doing pretty well. So number one's doing 385, 394, 347, 394, 330. Oh my gosh, number seven's not doing great. Okay, it's fine. Most of them look like they're doing pretty well. So we should have, let's see, is our power fully recharged in one hour? Okay, so we're, we are generating power, and that is uh, pretty good. Um, okay, so as long as our remote ships stay out of that area, we should be okay. Otherwise, they're going to crash into it and destroy the whole base. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the stakes that we have. Um, let me regain some power real quick with our uh, with our cool, awesome ship, which still has nine hours of power. And actually 70, um, and inc increasing actually, 71 uh, hydrogen because we have a hydrogen O2 generator on this thing okay now that we have our power generation set up let's set up our what do I want to set up now um, now we're gonna leave the ships and everything the ships and the welder pit and all that stuff we're gonna leave that for next episode because and, or maybe even the future one because that, that's the more complicated stuff that I still need to think about um, for now let's let's at least set up the production and the production area is just going to consist of two refineries and two assemblers um, and in fact, we could set up a laser antenna as well to at least see if this base connects. Because if it doesn't, we'll have to change something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's hook this baby up. I'm so glad we remembered to bring everything for the laser antenna at least. Uh, and now what we can do is, if we go to here, the laser antenna. Laser. Where's laser antenna? It's an under L. There we go. Laser antenna, we're going to set it to a max range, and we're going to copy its cords. Um, I guess we'll make a GPS. Uh, new from current position, uh, laser uh, equals these coordinates right here. So that that's, yeah, that's pretty much what we did for the other one as well. We'll call this Europa Base. Europa Base, sweet. And uh, we should have the hangar base as well. The hangar, yeah, okay, base antenna cords are these ones right here. So we're going to go ahead and grab, I guess we'll copy the whole thing. And we should be able to paste it right into this laser antenna. Maybe, I guess, we'll see. Paste coordinates. Uh, yeah, I think rotating towards laser antenna. Okay, so now, yeah, okay. So it should be trying to connect with that one. Unfortunately, that one right there doesn't have his coordinates. So we're going to have to return to Mars before we can probably set this up. Um, but, I don't know, does it have a connection? I guess we have to, we have to rotate that one to connect to it as well. But this one is currently connecting to the other one, over, the one over there. So, as long as we rotate that one over there, we should be good. But we cannot do that unless we either die and spawn at that base, uh, because we don't have a med bay here, or fly back. And we're not going to fly back until the base is set up. So let's set up the refinery now. Uh, we'll start with that. I don't know where we want to put it, but refineries are large, so they're always a good thing to start with. Um... We can't even get all of one inside an inventory. But let's stick the refineries. I think we might put them vertically. Horizontal. I mean, we could put them horizontally. That wouldn't be that bad. Horizontal one there and one there. Yeah, that would actually be pretty good space-wise. 
So we'll stick one right here. And does it have a thing on this side? Yeah, it does. So we'll, and we'll stick one right here. Which will we'll make kind of like a wall. <laughs> I'm fine with it. All right, let's grab the, the rest of that one refinery. There it is. And then we'll grab the some of the next refinery. And I really hope I calculated all, all the components correctly because we are going to use uh, everything we asked for. Or everything we uh, set up to bring. Alright, there we go. So refineries are now connected to each other. We're going to have to connect this refinery back here to that guy right there. Uh, so let's get two of those things as well. Ooh, daytime is happening. I turned off my light. Um, how does daytime Mars look? That looks kind of cool. It's like half and half. Uh, it actually looks like there's lights on. Like there's like civilizations down there with little cities. That's really cool. Um, okay, so we want this times two. So these guys. Those were small ship ones. Let's give that back actually. Get large ship ones. One, two. And let's grab a couple of steel plates as well. Because we, we always want to have a couple of steel plates on hand. And we did bring extra. So we should be fine. Alrighty, you are now connected to you, which is connected to you. That means all we need to do is add the assemblers that we were going to add. And I think we'll add them maybe right here or something. We'll make them vertical, I guess. That wouldn't be that bad. And in fact, if we want to add some, some bonuses, we can even add those under here. So, uh, so that'll be pretty cool. Alright, for our assemblers, we're going to do... They connect like this. I don't know, I could do something like that. And put them right next to each other. One, two, like that. And then we'd have room for three, four if we really wanted to add them like that. Um, or I could do like this. And we do them vertically. Which would give us a lot more room over here that we could use for something else. Alright, I think I do them horizontally like this. Because then we can put, if we want bonuses eventually, we can put bonuses on top and on bottom just like for those. And then we can add three, four right there really easily. And even five, six, seven, eight if we wanted to. So that, I think that's how we'll do it. Uh, number nine, grab two of those. I'm so glad we haven't run out of materials there, aside from the med bay, which I, I, I can't believe I forgot to uh, to bring along. But there we go, we have assembler stuff. Let's check this out. As long as it doesn't say depleting, we're good. Even though these things aren't working yet, but still. We have power generation, so we shouldn't really have much of a problem. The only problem we're going to have, I guess, is if these just take up all the power. At which, point, at which point we're going to have to add solar panels or something. Where does the sun come up, speaking of which? I see it coming up, but I don't know where it's coming up. All right, I think that's a good place to stop this episode. We've done quite a bit. We have a nice little setup here for our uh, for our wind power. And our base looks actually pretty cool from a distance. I mean, it's a bit of an eyesore over there, obviously. But as far as this is, it looks very compact with uh, with everything kind of pushed in here, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. It's going to end up looking, I guess, like an outpost once we're done with it. Um, oh, I like how these line up and one's not upside down or anything. That's cool. Uh, all right, if you guys like this episode, please hit the like button. Put your comments and your suggestions down below. Let me know what you think of this base and what you want us to add. Uh, next episode, we're going to add probably a couple of those ships. We're going to add the uh, cargo solution that we're going to figure out, probably right here or something. Maybe even maybe even going down. We might even remove all these blocks here. Um, but yeah, we, we should be well on our way towards getting this base set up for remote control. It's going to be really cool. This is an idea I've had for a long time since the beginning, well, since almost the beginning of Season 3. So I'm glad to see it coming to fruition. Um, but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers.